my hair. I <laughs> braided it last night and slept in it. I just got out of the shower, leaving and taking my hair out. So it's nice and curly, but it is way past needing a wash. Like, I wash my hair every two days. I don't usually, I can't usually stand to leave it longer than that, it drives me nuts, but I am trying. They call it trading your hair, I don't know if that's an actual thing, but I'm trying to train my hair so that at least it can be like every, you know, three days or something like that, and I don't have to wash it as frequently. So, because I didn't wash it yesterday, I have a dry shampoo in it. I put hairspray in it when I like tied it up and it's a little bit like stiff now so anyway I'm going I left it again today um, and I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow I'm working this afternoon 4 till 11 so it's just gonna be tied up and whatever it's not annoying me which is fantastic if I don't think about it I think it'll be fine but anyway so I got out some stir fry beef last night some beef strips um, and the other day when we went to Guildford we went to Tortilla and I think I've tried doing this at home before but they have these really nice burritos or naked burrito bowls and it's basically like Mexican Subway you go in you pick your rice so usually I have tomato rice and then I either have beef or chicken last time I added chorizo with it which was amazing um, and then you have like salsa you can have guacamole sour cream cheese um, lettuce, like peppers, all this kind of stuff. So, I have some peppers as well. So, what I'm basically going to do is cook the beef. I'm going to slice up the peppers and cook it with the beef. I've got lettuce, I've got cherry tomatoes as well in there. I just haven't decided whether I think I might throw the cherry tomatoes in when I'm cooking it just to make it a bit because I can't make it exactly. Obviously, I don't have salsa here, but I do have sour cream and I do have an avocado. So, I'm going to try and make that and I'm going to try and make two containers of it. Obviously I won't be able to put um, the beef and like the lettuce and everything with it to begin with. Um, but I want to take one for work tonight and then probably I'll have one for lunch tomorrow or something like that. So I'm going to attempt it, tortilla at home and see how I go. But I thought it might be interesting to film it in case it does work out and it turns out amazing. And then you guys can kind of see what I did guys an idea so this is a beef mince I've just been defrosting it because I had it in the fridge overnight I'm just gonna make my life easy and use microwave rice this is the Faida mix I'm using I have all of these peppers probably won't use all of it I decided to use some red onion I've also got um, like a quarter of a courgette here which I think I'm gonna pop in as well and I have some chorizo which I forgot I had and then the other thing I got was just some sour cream and then I just got a bag of iceberg lettuce like this rather than like a whole lettuce because it's just going to be shredded up anyway so it's making a difference. So basically what you would do, I'm going to pop them in these containers. now whether maybe to microwave the rice and then to throw it in with the beef and everything and do it like that and then just put the lettuce and that on top this is what I'm thinking at the moment but because this is not something that obviously because of the lettuce and everything it's not something that you're gonna eat hot you'll eat it like <clears throat> sorry I say a piece of cheese you eat it cold or room temperature so rather than have the rice have it to mix up and all of this yeah I'm thinking of maybe doing that hmm. 
I don't know, like I said, I've never made this before, but that whole process of chopping, putting everything in there, grating the cheese, probably like 10 minutes. And it's on there cooking with the lid on, so everything should stay nice and tender. It shouldn't dry out. I put the seasoning in and everything. I just don't want to chop up, I'm oh, sorry, slice the avocado yet because it will go brown. <clears throat> and the reason I thought to put the rice in was because then I can just put everything in the containers and it can completely cool off and then I can add all the other stuff on. If the cheese melts, it's not the end of the world, but everything else needs to be like cold and yeah, so let's see how we go. Now that it's cooked and everything, you weren't really meant to add water to it, but because I wanted it to, I didn't want it to like just dry out in the frying pan so I added the water to it so I've just taken the lid off and I'm just going to reduce it down and then i am decided I'm going to add the rice in here and then pop it into the containers. I think I got these from Tesco, they're just small little containers and I found for work they are literally the perfect size to take something to work because I only get a 20 minute break and I'm not a fast eater at all. Um, I did buy this container which would have been way too big but it's split and I don't know if it's split in delivery or not. I think I've told you guys that before but I like that it has its own cutlery. So these containers do just fit inside here with the lids on otherwise I can do it with the lids off. So like last night I took one of the containers to work with some food in it and I popped it into that container so that then I have like my own cutlery and everything because I just, I don't know, not that I think anything bad of my colleagues, but I just prefer to like use my own cutlery at work, if that makes sense. Just during the time now, obviously in my other work, we used to have cutlery there, um, but it was also <laughs> sent down to a hotel kitchen where it went through you know the pot wash and all of that kind of stuff as well so just adding the rice in I did leave a little bit of liquid in the bottom because I didn't want to dry out the beef but that looks quite nice <laughs> All of that needs to cool now. I can't do anything with it until it's cooled down. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it now until it's cooled down and then I'll come back and we can do the rest of it. Okay, everything seems to be cooled down. I did put the cheese on while it was a bit warm. That's why it looks like it's melted. But I'm just gonna slice the avocado and then um, I'm going to pop on the lettuce and the sour cream and everything. And then it can just sit here and cool. And then I'm going to pop it into the fridge. But these two are going to have lettuce, but I will put a little bit of avocado and some sour cream on it. That's it. Um, it's going to be hard to see now, but... So it's got the rice and beef in the bottom, and then one side with lettuce, one side with avocado, and some sour cream down the middle. And then I'm just literally going to keep it in the fridge and eat it over the next couple of days because once you put, I don't know about freezing sour cream. I know you can freeze avocado, which is why I put the avocado on the little ones. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure about freezing sour cream, so I didn't put it on the small ones because I don't want to ruin it. Also, the lettuce is used by the um, 18th, but it's starting to look a little bit, you know, past its whatever. So I didn't put as much in, and I actually thought that it would be, that there wasn't enough of the beef in there. But I think it's actually going to be perfect. So that's going to be for um, my lunch tomorrow. And the next day I'll take it to work the next day. Because I have lunch here today. And I already took something out to take to work tonight. Because I didn't think about making this until later last night. But I'd already taken it out. So <sighs> it's 
make sure these are untied. So yeah, it was super simple to do and it didn't take that long for it to um, cool down as well. What you could do um, with these ones, I'll probably just leave them in the fridge until just before I go to work and then I'll pop them in the freezer because then I'll know that it's definitely cooled down. But yeah. I'm about to eat my mac and cheese for lunch. I hope you liked today's vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to be notified of more amazing vlogs like this. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will speak to you guys again next time. Bye, guys.